Good evening, and welcome to Super Tuesday 2, 2032. Today, we only have 10 candidates left total, 5 in each party, the Democrat candidates. Beto O'Rourke is the frontrunner. Behind him is Andrew Yang. Behind him is Mark Kelly. Behind him is Kamala Harris, and behind her is AOC. And for Republicans, Ted Cruz is the frontrunner. Behind him is Tim Scott. Behind him is Josh Hawley. Behind him is Chris Sununu. And behind him is Laura Trump. And it is officially 6 p.m. And the polls have closed in the states of Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota, Idaho, and Washington. We can now make a major projection. Andrew Yang has just won the state of Michigan. He was expected to win this state, but he has won almost every single delegate in the state. This is huge. It's a major projection. This was this is very impressive of Andrew Yang. We can also project that he's won the state of Mississippi, which is very surprising because Beto O'Rourke was expected to win the state. And um this is just really surprising that he won the state of Mississippi because Beto O'Rourke was expected to win this because Beto O'Rourke was from the South. And now, Beto O'Rourke has won the state of Missouri. This is not that big of a surprise, but it is Josh Hawley's home state. And now, North Dakota will surprisingly go to Mark Kelly. Mark Kelly has way overperformed his expectations in this. This is very surprising. And also, Idaho will surprisingly go to Mark Kelly. Um, this is also really surprising. And Kamala Harris has won the state of Washington. There is no surprise here because she is from the West Coast. Now for the Republicans. In Michigan, we can project we'll go to Josh Hawley. This is pretty surprising. He was not expected to win this. Um, his um, president, Ron DeSantis, did win this in 2028. Um, so I guess it's not that surprising. And... Mississippi, we can project, will go to Ted Cruz. This is not that surprising because he is from the South. And Missouri, his home state, Josh Hawley, we can project, will win the state of Missouri. This is his home state. He used to be the senator there, but then he was chosen to be the vice president. And now, North Dakota, we can surprisingly project, will go to Laura Trump. This is very surprising. She was not expected to win the state. And now, Idaho, we can project, will go to Ted Cruz. This is also very surprising. He was not, well, it's not very surprising. He was expected to win the state. And Washington will surprisingly go to Chris Sununu. This is very surprising. Chris Sununu has way overperformed his expectations, just like Mark Kelly. And now, we do have major candidates that have dropped out. Former Vice President under Joe Biden, Kamala Harris has dropped out of the race. Senator of New York, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has dropped out of the race. Senator of New Hampshire, Chris Sununu has dropped out of the race. And Senator of North Carolina, Laura Trump has dropped out of the race. These are all major candidates and now there are only three candidates left in each party. Now, Beto O'Rourke is leading by a very wide margin. He is way overperforming his expectations. He was not expected to do this good. He has won so many states, and if this would actually be interesting, because look at the Republicans, Ted Cruz is also leading by a very wide margin, and this would be interesting because this has been the Senate matchup for the past couple of midterms, so this is very interesting. And now, I do have a Google form, the Guam and Northern Mariana Caucuses. Um, vote for whoever you want. As you see, I vote for Mark Kelly in both of these. Um, thank you for 103 subscribers. Um, I'm just really surprised that I got 103 subscribers. This is the end of the video, and bye.